Good evening, and welcome back to Factory Town, where I've been banging my head against the wall for a little bit, trying to figure something out. Um, I did actually start recording this episode previously, um, and then scrapped it because I recorded 20 minutes of nothing at all, and I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to, we want to get on and do things, but I started building something, I went, no, that's wrong, and changed it, and, 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 and yeah, so, so I have a plan, which is the first time, for, it's the first time for everything, um, but I came across a potential problem and I wasn't sure how to solve it and I was being too indecisive. So, okay, we want to do hardware. That's the next thing we want to do. We want to do hardware, okay? And uh, we want to do hardware in the industry. So we have a hardware. So we're going to do reinforced planks and pickaxes. Now I mentioned we're going to do pickaxes in the mining area. I've actually changed my mind on that um, for uh, a, a, a very simple reason. If we do it in the mining area, we're going to need two trains. We're going to need a train that picks up the reinforced planks from the industry and a train that picks up the mining picks from the mining area. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do the uh, pickaxes in the industry area and then we'll deliver them to the mining area. Okay, so the stuff come from here to there, back again, oh, excuse me. Um, for the, re the reason that is that then we can have a single train picking up uh, reinforced planks and pickaxes uh, and um, drop delivering them over here. So we can have a train with both reinforced planks and PX in, a separate train station, sorry, with uh, reinforced planks and a separate one with um, uh, mining picks in it. So the mining pick one will go over to there, the uh, reinforced pick one will go there. Although I could just have a train with mining picks on it and it would also come down the same run. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, however, this needs to be moved over and out of the way. And that's fine um and that's kind of where i got myself uh well uh no it's one one further step beyond that but let's let's do that let's do that so i want to copy this here i'm gonna copy all this not including the first road so let's copy that i want to turn it around i want to line up the roads so that's there and uh, we want to go and put that there okay so that should mean that this road is lined up to this road, which it is. Awesome. Okay. So none of these cross each other. Um, and by that, what I mean is that returns from this one will come up. And if it's, if it's returning to track eight, it comes up and it returns here. So it doesn't end up going straight up one of these ones. So we don't have over there. The only two that line up is this one and this one, um, which shouldn't be a problem anyway, because the trains for delivering are owned by this town so they come to here so that means that this track for instance um here so track one it'll be on track one coming out here and this is track five so it's come up here and it'll go there so even though this train station and this train station will be receiving the same goods you'll be receiving it on track one you'll be receiving it on track five so never the two shall meet hopefully hopefully never the two shall meet <laughs> um um i do see somewhere else that has a potential problem of trains meeting each other uh so yeah um let's put in this here so you're gonna go uh there 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 and there but on there we go awesome and uh let's connect all of these roads up here Doop. Like that. Awesome. There we go. Now, we need a town center in here. Yep, we need a new town center in here. So let's grab a town center. Um, this is where I got to. <laughs> and it took me 20 minutes to get to this point because I was being really indecisive about how this would connect up and things wouldn't work and, and I missed the fact that there were different rails of things. So that's hence why I've come come back and, and kind of restarted. I don't normally do that. I don't normally try and cut things out. I kind of do stuff again, but I'm trying to make sure that episodes have content in them and aren't just me talking and doing this and then doing that and then doing this and then doing that and then, and then oh we'll do this here and then we'll do that there and yeah. So yeah, okay. So we have a town centre here. Now the town centre needs to be leveled up. Up, uh because right now it doesn't reach the edge here um and this is the point where i got to like ah, i need to do something else and oh no we're having to and, and it's been 22 minutes and so to level the town up let's move this town center out of the way let's move this town center down to here 
but don't there you go and you can see he can level up which is quite nice bomb 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 level seven is as far as we can go we can't get to level eight we need to get to level eight we have to get to level eight this is the this is the level eight is kind of i believe the minimum we can get to um your level eight yeah yeah so and uh no it might be level nine we need to get to oh that's even more complicated uh oh uh oh and uh, by that what i mean is um you see this influence the influence comes up to here and here yeah and if we're going to deliver goods here and we have our food mill parked here and so they don't connect to the town the ones in the center here will connect but the ones out here won't connect to the town we might be able to jump it with a house and get it to connect up with a couple of houses over here but we really need to get the towers to level nine in order to have a big enough influence to reach all of these. So you see here that these are highlighted by the town, so that's fine. Um, whereas if I was to, uh, well, we can do it. Just uh, let me. Uh, that's going to be the drop-off point, isn't it? So, so this is the pickup, and this is the drop-off. So this is the, our goods, which is this one here. Let's copy this. Uh, no, let's not copy that. Let's copy this one that actually has all of them because uh, I still haven't actually uh, <laughs> um, put the rails back in for that one yet. I should redo that. And you're going to sit here like this. And uh, you'll see, uh, well, it says no no hazard. Let's grab a house. So at least they'll, they'll shush about the house. So let's put a house in there. But none of them are connected to the houses. Look, they're not connected because the influence of this town doesn't reach them. It doesn't reach them far enough. I think if we were to put a house here, um, you can connect to that, but you're not technically connected to the town. No, you're not connected, definitely, technically connected to the town. So if we grab another house and put it here, for instance, this is connected to one. See, it says one, one. So we need to get all our houses, all our towns to level nine minimum to reach there that is way more complicated than it seems uh, one we need purple coins in order to upgrade to the next level uh, so our level seven town uh, which is this one here let's move you back out over to here so you see bump, put it there it's nowhere near nowhere near the edge we'd have to put them on this edge here so which we could do temporarily it's not a major problem but um bump, uh, and you want to be assigned farming bump, farming yeah. Um, so the level 7 town uh, needs to upgrade 500 purple coins so we need to make purple coins and 26 level 10 houses 26 level 10 houses we can kind of do that we can put 30 in here um, I believe we figured out um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 so we can get 30 in here okay However, to get to level nine, this is a level eight town center, to get to level nine, we require 36 houses. So what I'm gonna have to do is basically grab all my houses, put them in a single town, like maybe we'll put them in the farming town because that's gonna be the easiest place. We'll just put them all here, because um, this is town number one. Uh, we'll put 30 houses in here, we'll just double them all up, put all our houses in here, level the town center up to nine and then take it out and move it because we can do that that's not a problem at all however to get to level 10 we need 50 houses at, at level 10 and a hundred and ten thousand purple coins it, it goes like it goes it goes so to get to level seven you need uh 500 to get to level eight you need 2000 and they need 10,000. So we need 12,500 coins, purple coins, for each town center we're going to have put down. <laughs> Which, uh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, yeah. Uh, it is quite possible that we don't necessarily need town centers everywhere. Like the mining area doesn't necessarily need a town center. Uh, it, it will definitely have one. But if we need to prioritize things around, we have we have got this town center as well. We can still to do things. So, um, uh, but it's funny that the um, uh, the the uh, the industry town center is level nine, and our main town center is only level eight. But um, yeah. 
So, so we need to do that, and we need to level up, which means we need purple coins. So we need to come over here and start building our magic town and get the influence of the magic town down to work it. And this is where I saw a potential problem and sort of went stop playing. Stop playing, restart, try again because you've been faffing around for ages. So, so yeah. So we need purple coins. Let's get purple coins going. T houses are easy. I can st steal houses from River, put them all in here. We can we can force houses up to whatever level. We can get all the houses to level ten. We can then buy a couple of town centers. We've, we've got seven of them. Upgrade them all to level uh, nine or ten potentially. Um, and then and then when we get another one, we just put it in here. Upgrade it to level ten. Move it wherever it needs to go to. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, this town center needs to be moved because it's in the wrong place. Um, so, but that's fine. Um, so we need to have this guy here. I'm going to put this back in here now because, um, yeah. Um, let's grab this here like this. And this wants to go over here and wants to be leveled to there. like that okay so they want to go there so that's the delivery for those and again these will never meet each other so this is fine this is not a problem okay let's get rid of the stuff around here so let's get rid of that and the coal um the iron sorry let's get rid of uh we're going to deliver coal in i want to keep the coal here because i just want to have this temporarily make purple stuff so i want to leave the coal in I want to leave the mana stuff in because we're just going to mine it here and just it's just going to be a temporary fix to sell purple stuff for purple coins. Make mana brick, sell mana brick, get purple coins just because we need purple coins. Okay, so that's fine. That's not a problem at all. Um, what we need to do, however, is I need to remove that one there and then let's remove some things across that I don't know where they are. So copy this, put it there see the town center is in the wrong place so the town center needs to come down to there might move the town center somewhere else just to get influence here um you want to be removed there and you want to move there and that should allow us to copy this guy i'll put you in like that but oh, there we go okay and then we'll connect the two along here uh, in fact we'll draw all these in here because why not there we go. Okay, so here's the problem that I foresaw. I was like, how do I solve this problem? So our inputs are on this side. Um, this is complicated in itself because we're going to be coming off the corners. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this one here. Um, I will figure it out. We might have the train lines. Uh, so this is where our inputs are going to be. Um, we might have them come up and instead of just connecting this, they might come this way and connect like here somewhere. Um, because if I do it on the corners, if I do something wrong, a train's going to carry on going straight when it shouldn't be going straight, it should be turned. So we might tap off here somewhere and come in and go down. Um, but if it's a drop off, it should only be track five, which is this track so it should be here somewhere it should be here somewhere shouldn't it but if it's a return and it has to return to track number one it's going to come down here and track number one has to go either straight on or left that way but it's going to potentially there's it's going to cause problems so i might just offset that but that's easy that's easy offset that one this one's the complicated one but again it's not because i've realized as i'm as i'm saying that offset the track would offset this one so let's grab this here oof okay you are gonna sit here remember we're one away from the edge so we're gonna put you there i don't know exactly where it's gonna go up and down here but it's the correct distance out if we had a rail here um, and this was our feed rail it's gonna line up with that rail ah not a problem though because this is town number eight so only it needs to go to here it doesn't have to go any further not a problem however however so that's the feed rail the return rail plugs straight into that return rail which you think is not going to be a problem because it's a return rail that's not a problem so it can just come along um and it can go brum, 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 um and um so this is going to return to wherever it's going to go to now we don't have to worry about it messing up for number eight because the way tracks work we could run a track straight through here in fact let's do that let's run a track right through here but you'll see 
because if I move this temporarily, because this track goes straight on, it cannot turn onto track number eight. So we can't have a track, a train from town eight on the eight track. It won't happen. It'll be fine. Won't be a problem at all. Not an issue whatsoever. So we're gonna come down and potentially run a train down here, and it is the track number one. So we need to establish the track number one. Um, we can just have uh, a, the track come down and turn that way. But not a problem. So the track come, trains them down, and it can turn that way, and it can join track number one. Not a problem. There are two potential problems. One, a train from here or from here could potentially drive straight through and end up down, coming down here. We don't want that. Maybe I think, um, maybe not, because I think I think when they get to track number one here, they have to turn that way. Um, but well, no, no, they can. They can definitely come down here because this goes up. So a train potentially could come out of here and end up coming down this track, and this is a return track. It shouldn't happen because of all the pushes and things. However, let's say this train's coming up. It's a track, it's a one, so that won't matter. Let's say a train's coming up that's number five. Yep, it's gonna come along. Da -da -da -da, it's gonna come to here, and it's gonna go that way. But at the same time, a train's coming down here that wants to go to number one. So it comes down, and it ends up here, and this train comes up, ends up here, and they end up hitting each other, and then can't go anywhere. And they block all the tracks going left and right as well, going up and down, sorry, in this scenario. So they block all the tracks because they're across the road. They can't travel because they can't go through each other. The one coming from right to left wants to go to five. The one coming from left to right wants to go to one. They're stuck. It's messed up. It's broken. Yep. Yep. Okay. So that was kind of I, I was seeing that in my head I hadn't built this I was seeing that in scenario in my head and being like oh how do I fix this and we just offset the tracks it's just dawned on me that we just offset the tracks so let me remove this one here and re-establish so this one's go straight wants to go that way and this one's go that way okay so I'm not messing up the uh the track system here let's move this one out of the way as well but we'll get rid of these um, you want to come up and go this way, you'll come this way, and you'll go that way, and then you'll sit there, okay? So what we do is we get rid of these two tracks here. I found a solution to it as I was talking. Literally, I, I, this is this is kind of like my brain was going, how do I do this? And because I've just suddenly gone, well, instead of joining these tracks here, like at this point here and having something wrong, we'll just offset it and come down here because we're not using it. Is. Let's just offset this one. Let's just do this. Boom, there you go. The up track, the join track is here, which will be track number eight comes along, joins to this one. Um, and uh, this is the return track, comes down and does this here. We're never gonna have two trains hit each other. There is, there is a potential scenario that could have trains cause problems. Now I'm looking at it. There is a potential scenario, um, and that I, we can fix this by just offsetting this even further, which I will do. Um, if a train was to come down here and turn this way onto track number three, so it comes down here, it turns this way on track number three, okay? And a train's coming up here to go to track number five. The train coming up could hit the tail end of the train coming down here, which could hit the tail end of that one. So they'd end up with two trains stuck so um we end up with a train uh, let me let me build this and show you so this is going that way okay and track number five is going that way okay so we have a locomotive here which sits here and then we put three box cars into this two three like that oh actually they'd miss each other okay we'd have one there and uh you have three box carts one two three um you're actually yeah i can't establish that going up there so um but yeah but you can you see what i mean there is that the train coming up here could stop this train coming down and then when it turns that way it could potentially run into the back of if we had two trains coming down and two trains coming up right next to each other that could cause a box a boxing there yeah, that could potentially cause a big problem for us um, and would block the entire lineup going on here because this train couldn't go forward because the box cart's on the end. This train couldn't go forward because the box cart's there. Um, so, so yeah. Okay. So to fix that, what we need to do is we need to make sure that before it hits another junction, it's straight. It's completely straight. It may still happen. We may still have a scenario where that does actually happen. 
um it's entirely possible uh so yeah um but um yeah so so if i was to um run a line along here like this copy this train here and put it there and then we go uh one two three that's where i want the join to be so we want the return to be there at a minimum so the train has to um have a bump yep there you go so the train has to have joined the track completely before it even reaches another junction so if a train's come up here and doing that way around um yeah potentially two trains together could still cause a problem here um potentially because we've got uh so a second train would be there along that and a second train would be there along that but it's much less likely to happen it still could potentially but it shouldn't because we should never have two trains coming off of here and coming down to number three they should be going to different ones every train coming off should be going to a different location so it's a it's a it's a fail safe and it's probably a fail safe in a thing that i don't even need it to be um because it's it's a, an unlikely scenario but it's one i have experienced before <laughs> when building train systems so um i am fully aware that it could possibly happen so that will help fix that one there um there's also the whole thing of like a train coming up uh whilst one's coming down can block things and then because it's blocking the track along whilst the train's coming up it's blocking this one so this kind of track can't, train can't move because there's a train coming up and there's also a train coming along and that requires three trains to be in the same place at the same time which could very potentially happen we will try and figure that out as and when it happens um it's it's it is possible it is entirely possible so we'll see we'll see how it happens so yeah um all right so you want to go that way you want to come this way um you want to go that way so copy that paste that copy that paste that no hang on no 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 what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing that's not the right thing convenient um, in fact, to be honest with you, you don't even need to be that long. You, you are number eight. You should only ever get... Uh... So this is coming down here, so that will go that way, and this one will go that way. You should only ever get that. You don't need to go down any further than that. Um, like the uh, the join for four only goes to four. That's fine. This is this is four, yeah. So, um, so, so it's this one. So this one, uh, so we have no eights joining. Uh, we have five, which is this way, because it should be the same distance from things as this one. Um, I'm just going to assume it's the same distance as things from this one, and then probably make a mistake. Uh, four is going to be uh, the top track, like that. Three is that way. Two is up, and one is up. One, two, um, three, three. Uh, we have to go four. Oop. Um, five, six, seven, and there is no eight. So there we go. So this this is a scenario where a train's coming down and coming up. Although it shouldn't do because track eight won't ever block the other one. So, so it, it, there are potential collisions happening here, but I think we'll be okay for it. I think we'll be okay for it. So. Okay, um, what are you going to be? You're a pickup? Hold on to f yeah, uh, you're Animal Feed. No, don't be Animal Feed. You want to be Mana Brick. Let's do Mana Brick. We're going to sell Mana Brick. I don't think Mana Brick is actually something I want to be selling um, directly. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Happiness, Magic. Magical Knowledge gives us purple. Some give us purple. But we're not doing Magical Knowledge yet. We're doing Magical uh, Supply. Oh. Magic actually got a lot of. Uh, we we have supplies. We have the magical knowledge takes up a lot of space. Uh, but this I think is town specialty knowledge, not magic. So, yeah. Um, so magical medicine is uh, processing of magic. It'll be magic. Um, although antidote is knowledge for some reason. That's weird. Antidote's not magic, it's knowledge. Okay. Uh magic supplies. This one do. So mana brick. So we want to um they want they want eight. Um and that is basically the books. So three, six, nine, twelve. Uh I don't 
I don't need to sell. Like we can do three, six, nine, three books. Um, and, and then you can get magic supplies from magic knowledge. Um, play spell books. Uh, and magical knowledge is the uh, magical tomes. So the supplies, these are not books, these are protection books and things. So I will probably do these. I'll probably do the purple, the blue, and the red one. Won't do the yellow one. Um, because we're going to get yellow coins from so many other places. So we'll put that's probably what I'll do. Or we might just do like the purple and blue. And then wards or something. I don't even know. But right now I'm going to sell mana brick because it's easy to make. Um, so yeah. Requires magic forge. Also requires brick. I should have left the stone here. I didn't leave the stone here, but that's okay. We're just going to sell that because it, it's only two purple coins, but it's very easy to make. Very easy to make. So that's what we're going to do here. So you are going to be our mana brick thing, uh, which means you are potentially would have to set up the mana brick thing um, here. I'm going to set it all here. We're going to set it all here. So it just comes down to this, comes back again. So yeah. Okay. So let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get a let's get ourselves a mine or several. All right. So. I want to put in a couple here. One, two, and three. Because you can actually mine multiple things here. There's stone and coal on the ground. Okay. I know I got rid of the stone, but it's still underground. So if we go underground to the mining layer, see there's still stone underground here. So we can tap into that and all three of you can mine coal and stone. And we just output coal and stone separately. And then over here we want to have another mine. Um, and we want to do, I'm going to do like, two in here i think something like this bump, bump. um and you would also have oh yeah so you you've automatically picked uh that one because you've only got one thing if you put a mine down that only has one resource it will automatically fill it if it's got two it won't because it doesn't know what one you want it to pick so like we could have the outer two outer two doing coal and the inside one doing stone or vice versa or whatever so um yeah so that's that there uh let's get ourselves a um stone mason i think actually I'm, I'm gonna do that um i'm gonna change these up um you don't do stone and you don't do stone and you don't do coal okay so you're doing that so you are going to want to do stone brick okay let's build um i'm not sure how much output i want let's just put all three in there just to um Bomb, and I'm going to throw 10 workers in here. Like that. Okay. You make stone brick. Awesome. Um, you want three every... You're going to fill up way quickly. That's fine. That's fine. And then the, the mine's going to basically stop. It's going to fill up and stop, basically. But that's that's okay. Um, okay. And then you make stone brick. And then we want to have a forge. Uh, magic forge going on uh, so that's going to sit in front of it like that and the magic forge is going to make uh mana brick which requires brick mana crystals and fuel okay so we can do that and you'll take brick out and fill that up with brick which would be nice um let's run uh coal like that and i think that'll do you you need 12 coal to go, but you are potentially getting a lot. Mana crystals are made in a magic forge as well. So let's copy the magic forge, come over here, put you there. Uh, you want mana crystals, which always requires magic shards and coal. Um, let's actually move you down here um, and establish you there. Okay. I'm going to run the shoots on the floor for this one. Boop. And uh, boop. And then we're going to run the shoots off this one straight up into there. Ba -dum -ba -dum. There you go. So you're going to make that. Ba -dum -ba -dum. And you're going to want that, which involves running this up by here. This is awful. This is not the final layout at all. This is purely a temporary source to get things working. Um, I could potentially upgrade this one. And uh, actually, I'll put it there. Um, can you do, you can do mining. What about magic? What do you need for magic? You need an enchanter. Can we build an enchanter? Blah, if I could spell it. No, enchanter is locked. Oh, behind mana power. Oh, do we have the ability to do mana power? Do we even know what mana power is? Mana power is there. Yes, we do. Bomb. Awesome. Cool. Um, build enchanter. Let's just put an enchanter in there. And then we'll do magic 
Boom. And you're going to do... I don't know, just ward for the minute, why not? Boom. Um, but that means you are potentially getting a 10% chance to get bonus stuff, which is not very great, but it's free. So <laughs> it's free, why not? There we go. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then you want to sell your stuff to over here. Um, and I've done really bad uh, stuff. I'm just, everything, everything's just going to be on top of each other. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Um, Oh, is that valid? Is that yes? No, that's valid. Awesome. Cool. All right. Um, you come out of here and plug into the side of that. Like that. Oh, you know, and there's mana brick we made. We probably want to ramp up the mana brick. So this is not really being expanded to a point where it can actually run at decent speed, but that's okay. Uh, what do you potentially want? You want uh, one every ten seconds, and you make one every eight seconds so yeah you should be fine you should be fine the only thing that worries me a little bit is maybe you're not getting enough fuel in but you should be fine we could we could ramp this up and absolutely absolutely get more i don't know how much actual mana brick we're going to need um but we are making mana brick which is fine uh oh um there's a ah <laughs> <laughs> there's a train with no signals and nothing on it at all uh oops <laughs> let's put that there um let's run this out to here and run this out so this is the return so that's gonna have to cross and go there and this is the in there um we have a push right here and you are going to be filtered to be mana brick you're going to be filtered to be mana brick because you are a mana brick delivery service uh yours going to be filtered to be town one is that how it works brain remember four and one so you want to be um one and eight one eight okay i think i think that's potentially what we want to do is that right so you'll pick up your you should be pick up oops you should be uh load no unload uh load yeah so it's like this side so we need to uh establish what you're picking up so we want to actually have oh yeah we're not on the main line are we wait 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 yeah this is load that's yeah okay so we're not on the main line so we're, go we're gonna have a um <laughs> a uh a pusher here um which is going to be filtered with mana brick for the moment okay right um, and you this is consumable so this is one over here okay Okay, so let's let's get this going. I'm just glancing over at the time and going like, oh, oh, it's time, it's time, it's time. But that's okay, that's okay. So you're going to come up and you're going to join track eight, which is the oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which way round am I doing things here? I, I swear I keep getting stuff wrong. So the inside track goes clockwise, the outside track goes anti-clockwise. So we're going anti-clockwise. So we want outside track anti-clockwise. No, up. And then you are coming in and you are going to be mana brick right. yeah and then this train even though it's started over here should belong to town number one yeah okay and do we want you to be is it home till empty no because you're delivering so it's not home till empty it's um yeah okay okay that should be good that should be good let's uh i don't know why i put that up high but i did but i did do it one or two one yeah okay so we'll do that so I'll pause that do that let's get this to be mana brick awesome uh and then Mm 
mana brick. Yep, okay. Right, so the train's gonna go and do its thing. Uh, oh, hello, what's happened here? How did you end up on that? How, how did you end up there? Oh, I might have put you on the wrong. <laughs> you might have been on the wrong um, end of the track. Yeah, you might have come up here. Yeah, so. Yeah, we desperately want to have more of these. We'll expand this next episode. We'll expand this next episode. Um, yeah, uh, but you are you have 20 in you, which is interesting. Oh, you know what I'm not doing? I'm not packaging stuff. No, 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 Fool, fool, pack into crate. Okay. Right, and then do that. And uh, we want to right click this and go only allowed unpack. So it doesn't doesn't take the crates back out again. Oh, it's interesting. It's not a... Uh... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you want to do um, mana brick. Okay, there we go. Right, so remove that. So then you have seven potential mana brick in you there. Right. Um, oh, yep, yeah, does that. <laughs> Sometimes it'll do that. It'll look like the train's not connected, but don't worry, it will reconnect. Um, oh, change this back to being load. Okay. Do, 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 do. Boop. You have picked up um, a grand total of eight packed mana brick, but that's fine. That's fine. So we can expand this later and do whatever we need to do with it. Oh, yeah, you desperately need to have some more. Got the 10 workers. Go. Um, you might as well get two working you. Yeah, go. Right. We'll expand this out later. I'll probably have loads of magic forges just lined up all feed into the same place and uh, a load of magic forges here as well. And just feed down and yeah all right um okay where did it go uh is it here is it here it's here awesome okay let's watch it let's watch it let's see whether it does its thing um in fact you know what let's speed it up uh boom choo 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 choo, choo. there go. <laughs> okay it's the return i want to make sure i've got everything right for the return as well so um, and when it's just an empty track we can pick the train up and move it it won't be a problem Okay, so you drop that down there, you take that, you do this, you are potentially selling for purple coins, see the purple coins pop up? It's only two ago, it's not a great deal, but it's, it's yeah, it's easy. Yep, you've come back onto the track, correct train there, awesome. You potentially don't have any fuel um, at all, you're not passing a fuel line at all, so you are going to have that sort of problem. I think you're full because you went that way once, so. Yeah. I think this is this is not a good idea, and I should just have this established on the inputs and outputs of each and every one. Because a train would always pass here, a train would always pass here. A train, yeah. So, so yeah. I think this this was a bad idea. Uh, we'll put another one of these over here and uh, connect it to this one instead. So, yeah, and ma maybe move it into the centre so it can um, feed trains on both sides, inputs and outputs. Yeah, this is this is just not a good idea. But yeah. Okay, and there you go. You're going to come down here. You're going to pick up five mana brick. That's fine. Awesome. We're selling the mana brick, which is uh, fantastic. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Happy days. So we shall leave this one here. Another 40 minute episode. Um, but oh well. And we shall come back next time. And we shall continue from there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.